So are you looking to make a barbecue dish with a plant-based spin? Like the sound of that. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make our go-to ginger barbecue tempeh. Now this is one dish that epitomizes what I would call true plant-based barbecue. And this would make a great addition to your next cookout, whether it be for Memorial Day or Juneteenth, the 4th of July, a family reunion, or a football tailgate party. Hey, you could even make this for Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. It doesn't matter. Any day of the week, any time of year, you can't go wrong with this. And what's cool is that this recipe is not complicated at all. Let's take a look and see how it's made. So like I was saying, this recipe is not complicated at all with just a few simple ingredients, the main one being tempeh. Now, if you've never had tempeh before, what it is is it's basically fermented soybeans. It's a very good source of plant-based protein and it's a good source of iron as well. And for the barbecue sauce, feel free to use a homemade recipe if you have one. We're gonna be using this one out of the bottle here for convenience. And the X factor of this recipe is definitely the ginger. Y'all, if you've never added ginger to barbecue sauce before, prepare to be amazed. It adds such a unique flavor to the sauce. Now you might be making this as part of a cookout, but for us, we're gonna be roasting some Brussels sprouts and butternut squash on the side because this is gonna be one of the meals that we're prepping for the week. But you can definitely add whatever you'd like with it. So with our tempeh, what we're gonna do is slice these into some thin strips, about an eighth or a quarter of an inch. Uh, feel free to slice them into whatever size you'd like. You can even cut them into different shapes like cubes. And from there, what we're gonna do is add these into a bowl and then we're gonna season them, adding a little bit of oil, using some grapeseed oil. You can use whatever kind you'd like. And then we're gonna add some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, and a little salt and pepper. This is just gonna help to knock out a little bit of that natural tempeh taste uh, because we're gonna cook these in the skillet first prior to adding the barbecue sauce. For every seasoning that we're using today, you can add as much or as little as you'd like depending on your flavor preference. And as you can see, I placed the top on the bowl and I'm giving these a good shake just to get all of the seasonings evenly coated around the tempeh. And there we go, all nice and covered and ready to go to the skillet. So we have our skillet ready. We've added some grapeseed oil to that, which is a nice neutral oil with a high smoke point. And then we're gonna add our tempeh, cooking them about one to two minutes on each side over medium heat. You could also cook the tempeh in the oven if you don't wanna cook it in a skillet. The goal here is to sear the tempeh and again to knock out some of that tempeh flavor. Some people describe tempeh as having a bit of a nutty flavor. I honestly don't really know how to describe it. But again, cooking it this way definitely helps. Now, once your tempeh is done cooking, you can set it aside while you prepare your sauce. Now, for your ginger barbecue sauce, you can either grate the ginger or you can puree it using a blender. This is what you're gonna add into your barbecue sauce. This time I chose to puree it in a blender just to make it a little easier. Once that's ready, we're gonna go back to our skillet and then we're gonna Heat up our barbecue sauce and let it simmer along with the ginger to let the flavors incorporate. Now again here, add as much or as little ginger as you'd like. And what we're gonna do is just stir the ginger along with the barbecue sauce over low heat. Feel free to add more sauce or even some water to help thin out the sauce as needed. And now we're gonna add our tempeh back into the skillet with the sauce and then we're just gonna move it around to get all of the tempeh nice and covered with the barbecue sauce. I mean, just looking at it makes me hungry all over again. All right, and we are ready to now build our plates. Now, imagine showing up to your friend or family's cookout with a platter of this, y'all. I mean, you wouldn't even know or think that it was plant-based because of the fact that it has that barbecue sauce. And combining this with the butternut squash and the Brussels sprouts, it really makes for an excellent plant-based bowl. One thing you could even do is add a little more ginger on the tempeh as a garnish, and this will just add a little bit more of that nice ginger kick. Definitely gotta give this a taste though. I mean, y'all, one bite of this is just instant fireworks. As you can see, the head shake. I mean, this is definitely the perfect summer dish, but again, you can make this at any time of the year. Now we have a chickpea pasta salad recipe that also makes for a good cookout dish or as a great meal prep option. Click on this video here in the top right to check that out and we'll see you over there. Peace.